Okay, so in this video, we're talking about the ever so popular topic of power banks. The Verger Power Bank V0556P 5000 milliamp power bank and the Verger 10,000 milliamp power bank. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions and how I use these practically. Don't go anywhere, up next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech, doing reviews and tutorials about the gear that you need to know about. And today, we're taking a look at Verger Bank's series of power banks, one for your iOS devices and one, well, which is kind of like a Swiss army knife of Swiss Army Nices of power banks. Uh, we'll get to this one later, but for now, let's get straight into this. The Verger, this is a 5,000 milliamp power bank, like I said before, for your, uh, uh, for your iOS devices, such as iPads, iPhone Pro 12 Max, iPhone Pro 12 Max, whatever. Uh, here we go, and also like uh, your Air AirPods and, and things like that. So uh, right now I've got a dead iPhone here, so I'm just gonna go and connect this directly to it. And we'll see how fast it, it, it gets to charging. Uh, this is a 20 watt power bank with PD delivery, meaning 20 watt, it is like, oh, look at that. It's already, bring it up already. Um, 20 watt, meaning that this does qualify for fast charging for your iOS devices. So uh, through my, you know, of, of using a, of using this power bank, one of these will give me an entire charge for my iPhone. The only thing is if I wanna get a full second charge from my iPhone or just a full charge of my iPhone, I just have to make sure that my screen brightness is, is dim and I have to make sure I have to turn Bluetooth off, off, but it will give me a complete phone charge for that. So just keep that in mind as well. And why do I like that so much? Well, this thing is just, all right, I'm gonna disconnect it for a second. Look at, no, I'll leave it on. Look how small this thing is. It's, it's so small. This thing will just fit right in your pocket and it, it's not obtrusive. It's not like you're walking around with like, you know, like, like a wall a wall socket, a wall charge, you're just walking around, you're going to stores like, hey, uh, do you have a, can you point me to like a wall charger somewhere can I, so I can plug this in? None of this anymore. You don't have to embarrass yourself or just, or kind of glue yourself to the wall and just wait for your phone to charge and get a d decent enough charge. For this, it's just in your pocket and you're charging full, full blast. You're getting a full phone charge just like that. Uh, so I've been using that way and I've been, yeah, it's, it's helped me tre tremendously. Again, look how small this is. You're, you can walk around with this all day. This can be a part of like your out and about gear, whether it's in your in your pants, your pocket, or in your purse, it's not taking up any space at all. All right, so I've, I've said as much as I can for this. Let's move on to Verger's uh, next thing. And like I said before, the Swiss army knife of, of power bank chargers. Uh, here we go. This is a 10,000 milliamp Verger power bank. Uh, I really like this. I've been using this thing a lot. It has been a lifesaver. Uh, like I just said before, 10,000 milliamps. So it's twice the size as this one. More than enough juice to power my phone twice. Uh, the only thing is it's not PD. So you're not gonna get your 20, 20 watt fast charging. You're just gonna get consistent, reliable charging. Uh, now here's the thing, the Swiss Army knife. It does come with a variety of things. Uh, number one, here we go, check this out. You've got USB-C and USB, USB micro on one side, put it in, pull it out, and then you've got uh, your Apple lightning connector right there. And of course you have a meter here to let you know where you are as far as your charge is, is concerned. Look at that. And of course you have the 10 right there, meaning for 10,000 uh, milliamps. If you wanna charge, just plug in the wall socket right there, have it charge for a couple of hours overnight. Right, and of course here you have a USB, USB out and also you have USB-C for USB-C USB -C in and out to, sh to charge additional USB devices simultaneously. How do I use this? How do I use this practically? Well, not only do I use it to charge my phone, like I said before, but I also use this to, to charge my audio recorder when I'm making these videos. So this is a recorder that I use, and I'll just show you right now that I don't have, I don't, you know, this takes AA batteries, so I don't have anything in there. I don't buy batteries, I don't, I don't use rechargeable batteries. I just plug this into it. And here we go, USB charging. We'll just plug it into, let me just show you right here. It's got a USB port right there. I'll just plug it in. And then I'll just power it on. And there we go, done. USB power going right there. And I use this for all sorts of things. I use this for my tablet, my Android tablet, again, my iPhone. On top of that, like we saw before, we have the additional ports. We can connect our other ports to charge, connected to charge other devices as, as well. Yeah, 
So now, so now this becomes like a really powerful compact 10,000 milliamp uh, uh, charging device. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, you know, th they're power banks. Uh, there's not much more you can say or, you know, kind of go into that. Um, overall, let's just do a recap when it comes to these power banks. Uh, the the Verger 10,000 milliamp power bank, and then of course the uh, the V0556P, the Verger power bank, 5,000 milliamp for iOS devices, and of course a Swiss Army knife as well. Uh, so what am I, you know, that's how I use it practically. What do I wish were there were some, some improvements? Well, this only delivers five volts of power out, meaning that uh, anything above that, you're, it's not gonna receive any power. It's not gonna deliver any power to it, such as I have like a mirrorless camera right here, you know, kind of recording the top, it's not going to charge my mirrorless camera through the USB-C, so keep that in mind. Um, aside that, um, they do got they do get pretty hot. They do take a, a bit of time to recharge, but man, for what it does and the convenience of it is, and again, I'm not tied to like these wall sockets, you know, when I'm walking around, these things are a tremendous bang for the buck. And uh, yeah, like I said, yeah. I super love these things. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, I'll leave a uh, link down below so you can check these out, see further reviews, or see, you know, pick up one of your own. Um, but yeah, it's what's the 10,000 milliamp and of course the 5,000 milliamp for iOS devices. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, any, any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. All right, guys, that is it. Remember, learn, dear. Learn, do, and share. I'll see it. Stop. Learn, do, and share. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. I really should have thought about the emails before I record this video.